Today I wanted to take a look at how to measure Office 365 speed with the PMP commandlets. Here we have a short script, only about 50 lines long. It has a URL to a tenant, a number of repetitions, 1 through 10, and it's going to do some configuration with stored credentials, and then go through those repetitions of connecting to the tenant over and over again. Each script block core command is going to connect to PMP online, it's going to enumerate the current web with all properties, and then it's going to disconnect. So this core right here is really the essential three steps we're trying to do of connect, enumerate the PMP web, and then disconnect. This is prep for credentials, this is configuration for the target tenant, and then down here we of course have our measure command in green for measuring the duration, which then gets displayed in table format. So a pretty simple script, but kind of helpful for measuring you know, performance of the current machine, authentication, network connection, the, the whole system from one end to the other. So if we run O365 speed, see it pop up with Office 365 speed test, let us know the, the script did invoke. We get a little bit of delay while it's working, and then we see the results table. So this is after all tests have been executed. Here we can see a test of 1.6 seconds, another one is 0 0.9, 0 1.5, 1 1.1, 0 0.8. Now these, these numbers are the 10 repetitions and how it all came up back on response times. That gives us something that we can kind of average and, and see what a normal response time looks like, but having a sample size of 10 repetitions could help to smooth out any any could help to smooth out any inconsistencies like a network could help to smooth out any inconsistencies like network traffic or high CPU locally that may impact one particular test. We want to do multiple sample size to get a better idea of how things uh, run and to get a better idea of how things run overall. So those are the results. This is the script and something to think about when you're measuring Office 365 performance. You could schedule this, run it once a day, collect all the data, report on it at the end of the week. Maybe it's something to, to monitor over long periods of time, but definitely something for real-time diagnostics that you can run on the command line as well. Thanks for watching.